Hi, and a very warm welcome from a very wet and windy New Zealand this morning. Um, I've decided to make a sort of wrap up video at the sort of midweek, yeah, sort of midweek progress video and a uh, and one towards the end of the week as well. And this is my first one at the end of the week I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going back over charts, showing the setups where they were. And so to basically give you a bit of a, a roadmap, if you like, going forward for the following week and what you should be looking for. Now, I just started off this one yesterday. Uh, I actually marked this up. Let me just get a marker on here so you can see. So um, the market was just about here yesterday when I looked at this. I'll just make a green on there, make it a bit easier to see because the market. Okay, so the market was about here, and I put this on here, and I was thinking to myself, "Oh, I'm going to keep an eye on this because uh, that there, if that's going to fail after this, I thought that's highly likely going to carry on down uh, and follow this on down through here." Now, notice I was on the 15-minute uh, at this point here as well. So I was just looking at this, and I was thinking about this. Now, I didn't trade this. It didn't. It didn't. I wasn't around when this uh, kicked off. But what I wanted to show here, because uh, just show you how I've got this chart marked up. So. And let's just move me out of the way. Don't me up there. So you can see I've got these blue lines on here, and you can see where I where these started from when I put them on. And thank you very much uh, um, for the student who kindly educated me as to I was putting these lines on that were running all the way across, and I couldn't see where I actually started from, and I was going to be putting notes on them. Uh, and then he told me about this um, tool here with a little. Um, bit on the end you can see there if you click on there and it goes from the point out there so you might find that useful little little tip there so thank you very much for helping me out on there okay so what i'm using these for is i'm looking for uh, where stops are likely to be placed that's the, that's the whole essence of this if i can find out where stops are going to be placed i can find out the likelihood of when they're going to be targeted and of course i can then see what pat shows me at around that time so what i've got uh, set up over here a long time back you can see i've got a marker set up here and you can see where this uh, actually came down to here and then moved on up. So you probably want to know is why did I mark it here? Why did I choose this point here? That's a very valid question uh, because you need to know where you're going to put these. Now, there's not a, a hard and fast rule exactly. Oh, this is where it's got to go. But the little bit of common sense and looking at how the markets reacted, you can work these out pretty much easy, pretty, pretty easy anyway. And so what I'm looking for is really when a market actually starts, to, you know, comes up from here, and then we actually see a retrace, okay? And then I can see this go off from again. So this here would give me a potential uh, line to put through here and a potential line to put through here. And it's purely because the market has given us a reaction to an area, which is very different to what's going on through here. It's not really not really doing that. And you can see here again, we get a reaction up, which is a drive up in this case, and then the market comes off. So this is where I want to put a, a stop take on here. Now, of course, I don't know what's gonna happen if it's going to be genuine or whatever, until something happens after the event. So in other words, when I put this one on here, I can see that the market comes up. I expect this market could have then come back down here, but it didn't. It went through and then carried on up and got this little bit. Look, then what happens is it comes back down to here and you can see it triggers onto here. And I know, OK, well, looking back, I can see exactly what's going on here. It's going to find some support here. This is not a stop run as such, but it finds support. And then the market then starts to break out of here. And this is the first indication that this market is going to develop into some degree of moving upwards on there. And I say to some degree, just sort of starting off on that trend working up. We'll have a look at a 30 minute chart in a minute. So anyway, I'm looking over here and I'm seeing I've got this uh, marker up here. I can see what's going through here. And this looks very much to me like this is a stop take for any stops placed up through here, as shown by my blue line. This was making me think, OK, this market is highly likely to go down. Where can I enter the market? What would I like to see? So I'm looking down here and I see this come up here. And I'm thinking if that market breaks below that point there, that market is highly likely to carry on down here. The red through here and this stop taking all ties up with the same story. You can see what I've done here. I've put together a series of triggers or, or things that have happened and I've put those together. So stop take, where the market's likely to go to, and if it's gonna if that stop take is genuine, what is likely going to happen. Of course, in this case, likely to happen would be to fail and run on down. But what we can actually see happen, which again was the same process, which is quite exciting, and you see the market uh, comes up, punches out the stops from here down here, and then the market comes down, does this which would have triggered me short had I been had around here, I would have been triggered short in that market. And that would have been a, a, a very good trade. I'm very happy with that, how that worked out. And immediately, Pat puts in this 
And now, if we just look over here and see, if we go to our, I don't think I'm going to get rid of my marker. If we go up and put our line on, and then we can see now, as the market then comes away from here, now I might not have had this green line on, this, sorry, this blue line on. I might have not have had that on at that point. But now I can see that when the market's come away and done this, now I can say, okay, well, because I've seen that, was that a stop take? So I can actually go back and say, okay, well, where was it? Where was, okay, now I, okay, right. Now I can see that traders going long up through here, getting into this, would have put their stop loss orders around here. The market's come back down, punched these out. Pat has put a pressure point in here for us. And now the market gets underway, puts another pressure point in, which is immediately breached, puts this in, which is immediately breached. So you can see what I've been able to do here is, is sort of a backward thinking. So working out, normally I'm looking at, I'm putting up a, a stop. Uh, this is where it might happen from. And I'm waiting for the market to come back down here. OK, and I get this. But this is reverse thinking in that way, because because of this happened, and I hadn't got this marked up at this point. It would be just hindsight, thinking about that. We don't get paid for hindsight in this business, as we know. But because the market had done this, I was unsure, OK, my, my sell order would have failed. OK, well, if it's failed, what's going on? I then see this and think, OK, well, if this is, is genuine, where did it come from? Is there a stop take? Look back down, I can see, aha. OK, right, now I understand what's going on. That was a stop take and that's the subsequent action from it. And that's why I've been very happy then to consider going long through this period here because I was in bed probably at this time here. But anyway, that's the that's the thinking behind this. So two ways of looking at it. First, you anticipate where the you might get a, a stop take because you've got this on here and then nothing happens. And OK, it comes back down to this. You've already got your blue line set up. And I'll just call it the blue line on this. You've already got it set up. The other scenario is where a market takes off. You haven't got a, a, a line in, but then you think to yourself, well, OK, well, hang on a minute. This market has actually taken off from here and it's driven down and gone back up. Is there a stop take or has there been a stop take? And if so, where would it have been? You go that then, find this on there. OK, now you've got the stop take and now the whole thing makes sense. So now you're quite confident that you can then say, OK, wait till Pat puts an indicator in. We've got the pressure point here. Yeah, this is this is this is highly likely to go. And then this continues up. So now this move occurs because of the stop take. So I hope that one helps. This was going to be looking at different markets. But I think we'll make this a standalone lesson on finding stop takes and validating them for moves. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch up with you very soon on the next training video. Take care. Have a wonderful day.